hi welcome back to my channel what you see in front of you is a small stack of jigsaw puzzles from the Hudada company who is on Amazon and I will link these in the description below I got an email from them over the weekend asking me if I would show their puzzle on my channel and this is the puzzle that they linked to me which is called Italy Alpine Lake so this is the only puzzle that I expected but I was pleasantly surprised to see this one which is delightful donuts which, which reminds me of an Amy Stewart puzzle that I've done and then also window cat and I have two puzzles that are similar to this as well one is white mountain and the other one is a Chuck Pinson so I am ecstatic to work on all three of these puzzles just as soon as I possibly can. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do in this video here is to share the quality of these puzzles, give you an idea what they look like, what the pieces feel like, and then I will come back to you after I've completed at least one, perhaps two of them, and give you my opinion uh, at a, a, a stronger opinion but at this rate we're looking at five stars because they're absolutely beautiful so so I kept the shrink wrap on it so let's just take a look at each one so I just uh, take the shrink wrap off sorry for being off camera and then we'll look at the box and see what the quality is like got to be careful with my plastic because one of my cats loves plastic okay so let's look at each box for each puzzle this Hudata puzzle as I mentioned is delightful donuts they're all 1,000 piece puzzles and so you have the box here now the only thing that's wrong with this puzzle but it's not going to affect the rating at this point is the name delightful donuts is on the opposite side and you'll see with another puzzle why I say that something is wrong with that but let's look at the detail that the box has it tells you it's 1,000 pieces and it's 500 centimeters by 700 centimeters and that's about 19.25 inches by 27.25 inches and that's the standard jigsaw puzzle size so let's say for example Oh, this is the one that kind of reminds me of the cat. But let's see, as an average puzzle would be 24 by 30. So this is actually going to be a little bit bigger. So that's kind of exciting that I'll have a bigger puzzle. And what else is on the box? It tells you the materials that are used, the applicable age, and information about where the puzzle is from and the FCC guidelines or, or whatever guidelines and certificates are required. It tells you that that included is an original size color page. I can't wait to see that. Okay. And then on the back of the box, and I'm turning the box because like I said, it's kind of a little turned around a bit. Notice this right here. Piece missing support. So if there's a piece missing, you just have to email them at Amazon at Hudata.com. Their website is Hudata.com forward slash Amazon support. All of this will be linked in the, in the description box below. So yes, they have a piece guarantee if you're missing a piece. I love that. Now, I did do some reverse image searching and I only found one, and I don't even remember which one, that looked like it was a copyrighted image. But I searched every other, every other puzzle image on their on the Amazon site, and they're all stock images or at least licensed to this company. So that's a plus. So let's open this first box and see what it's like. First thing that is wonderful is that the pieces are in a bag which is sealed. We're going to open the bag and feel what the pieces feel like. And let's look at what the, what's inside of the bag. It's beautiful. Look at this booklet. Oh my word. 
I have never seen a poster this large for a jigsaw puzzle ever. Can I even show you this entire poster in this video? Let's clear the desk. I wonder if this is what size the puzzle will be. I'm going to try to raise my camera so you see that. Look at that poster. That's exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. Very, very good quality. Excellent, excellent, excellent quality. Alrighty, so let's fold the poster back up and take a look at the pieces. I did not expect that. Um, I'm going to show you what size posters I'm used to seeing in jigsaw puzzles. Let me get, grab another. This is a size poster that I usually see in puzzles. So that's a surprise. Okay, so we'll put that there, we'll put that there, and we're going to open this bag and see what the pieces feel like and what they look like, whether they're standard cut, grid cut, uh, random cut. Let's see what kind of cut they are. So we'll, let's pour them into the box. Okay. You see something that I don't see, or, or is there something you don't see that I don't see? No puzzle dust. Excellent. No puzzle dust. I mean, come on, that's fabulous. Let's feel the pieces. That feels pretty good. So let's grab a Ravensburger piece and compare. This is sealed from tape because I loaned it out. Let's compare the puzzle pieces. So that's the thickness for Ravensburger, and this is the thickness for the Hudata, and it's pretty comparable. Can you see the, diff the, the similarities? Ravensburger, which is top of the line, and Hudata. Let's try to get in there. Ravensburger, just a wee bit thicker. So let's put the Ravensburger back. Very, very, very impressive. So I'll move this puzzle out of the way. Look at the pieces again. These are grid cut. Okay, your standard pieces. I think the quality is excellent. I do notice that the back pieces are checkerboard. I've never seen that before. This is going to be a joy to work with. As a matter of fact, I was going to be working on a different puzzle today, but I have a feeling I will be doing one of these three today. Today. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alrighty. Let's take a look at the other two. I would, I would put them in the uh, top of the box, right? Instead of the bottom of the box. I put them in the wrong box. So let's clean this up. Oh, I forgot to put them back in the bag. I'll do that after the video. Kidoki. Move it out of the way. And let's look at Italy Alpine Lake. I can't even tell you which one I'm going to do because I'm in love with all three of them. Actually, I know which one I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do the last one I'll show you, the one with the cats. Okay, so get rid of that. And we'll look at the details on the box. Again, I think this box is uh, upside down, but we're not going to worry about that because everything else stands out. Italy Alpine Lake, because I would expect the box to be like this with the image this way, but that's okay. It's okay. Same thing. Oh, different images like um, on the back of the other one. So they have even more puzzles than I've seen. So these are even more images. I'm going to be buying a lot of Hudata puzzles in the days ahead. So let's take this box out. Another gorgeous poster. I'm just amazed that the poster is so big. There you have it. There you have it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can't even get the whole thing in frame, but it's okay. And we will 
take a look at the pieces, make sure that the same quality, which I can't imagine it wouldn't be. This is getting an A++ from me. I won't take them all, all out of the bag, but that's... Huh. These pieces are interesting. You see how like it has uh, that on the back of that one and this one has checkerboard on the back of that one. This one has blue and white. I, I think it might be some kind of a grid. I wouldn't solve a jigsaw puzzle, but I imagine that this is some type of a grid if someone was having trouble sorting the pieces. You see how the bottom of that is red? But I would never use that grid, but if you need assistance in solving the puzzle, that's something I didn't see in the other bag. So we're gonna check the third one to see if it's like that. Beautiful pieces. I will work on one of these puzzles and produce another video post haste. Let's see. Our sizing is the same, 500 by 700 centimeters. The batch, the address, the missing piece, sorry, it's not clearing up. The piece missing support, the name of the puzzle, beautiful. Let's look at the last one. This is the one I'll probably work on. Wait a minute, I didn't tear the plastic. And this is what I meant when I said the boxes were a little uh, strangely done. Because this one I would consider right. You see how this is the top of the puzzle? And that's the puzzle name and the puzzle name there. That's all. Very, 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 very minor. Not even really worth mentioning. Now this back, this uh, box back of this box is different so let's get the other one so the other two boxes had images on the back and this one here has all of that puzzle information that was on the side so you see on the edges of each of these boxes is the name of the puzzle with all of the detail that was on the side of the other but that's that's perfectly fine it includes original oh, I see I missed that original size puzzle page. So it's something that we're going to check out right now. Before we look at the pieces, I work on a foam board, okay, which allows me to move my puzzle around. So if this is an original size puzzle board, oops, I knocked something over. I imagine that it's too big for the foam board, which is just fine because the card table is right here. So I'll just work on the card table. Ah, it fits on the foam board. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. This is the puzzle I'm starting today. I'm in love, in love, in love, in love. I'm doing this puzzle today. Let's look at the pieces. And let's see what the back of the pieces are like, since there was a little bit of a difference. Okay, yes. If people will have trouble sorting out their puzzle, you can sort them by this letters on the back. But again, this is something I wouldn't do. I'm only going to sort them by edge pieces first, shape. You see how you have the, the this uh, grid cut shape. So that's fine. That's beautiful. This is going to be a delight. I'm not even going to put them this back in the box because I'm about to work on it. I'm just going to work on it. I'm telling you that right now. Let's see. I can't even show you the box because I knocked it on the other side of the table. So that's it. Um, trying to figure out where my reacher is. We're going to get that box. That was not part of the video, but let's look at the three puzzles. This one, this one, and this one. 
it's a little discombobulated. I've never done a puzzle review video before, but you but you get the message. There we have it. The three who died of puzzles. We have Alpine, Italy Alpine Lake. We have the delightful donuts, and we have the window cat. And by the way, I have I have two puzzles. Like I said, I have two puzzles similar to this. So I, I love the design. I'm going to try to find them. So bear with me. I thought the video was over, but we're going to find. Hmm. I just I have like 150 puzzles here, so I thought I, I thought I could show you the similar puzzles. So here's one that's kind of similar. I know I have another window cat puzzle here somewhere. I wish I could find them. Do, 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 do. I'm looking, okay. I have another puzzle that has cats by the window, but I can't find it. But I love it. I'm just in love. I'm just in love. So that's about it. We're going to end this video. Forgive my lack of professionalism because of my enthusiasm, but I will work on this puzzle here and I will make another video um, and give you my overall impression of it once I complete it or maybe halfway through it. I'm not really good with Windows editing yet, so I can't do any type of a speed puzzle, but there you have it. Pudada puzzles at Amazon. Everything will be in the description box below. I, I will include my Amazon affiliate links. I highly recommend these. As I said, I'm going to be starting this today in the next few minutes and give you my full impression a little bit later. Beautiful, beautiful puzzle. And again, I love the poster, which is right here. And it does fit on the foam board. So if you like working on foam board, like I do, so that you can turn it around, you see that it fits on the foam board. So that's about it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.